Hello everyone and welcome to the Crow Quills run. The second rapier weapon that I will ever use in this game. And the title hasn't changed. <laughs> okay, I can I can deal with that. I can deal with that. No problem, no problem. Let me uh quickly change in this game. that. And the title hasn't changed. And it's changed. Awesome. <laughs> okay. That's all been dealt with. New game. Yes. Let's see how good <laughs> slash bad are these weapons. My uh, hope is decent. Yes. Of course, we're gonna start with a knight. Hmm. What name? Mm. Quill? I don't know. Uh, why not? Quilly? <laughs> Good name, good name, good name. I, I always got the best names. Fuck. Oof. Man, it's hot. It's really hot where I live. Like 30 degrees. Ugh. Horrible. Okay. So, we're going again with a dex build. Now, I haven't checked. I should really check what are the requirements. Um, okay, this is more and more worrying. Why the fuck? Why does my game have a problem with my right bumper? I would like to know that. Why? Why? Oh well. At least we're one-shotting them. I mean, I can't complain with that. At least we're one-shotting. <laughs> you always one-shot. Always. Every time, you always one-shot. Trust me. Uh, after I kill Ludex Gundir, I'm gonna check what actual requirements are for the Crow Quills. Sorry for not checking it. Um, I just, you know, looked up the name, and that's about it. I mean, nothing else matters, right? Yeah, nothing else matters. Fuck! I hate when I miss the... The fist uh, visceral attack. I hate when I miss that. But this time, you gotta get it. Perfect. And if you're wondering why I do it every time, eh, Bloodborne Easter egg. Simple as that. Just a little Easter egg because of the hand animation when you do the the, the fist visceral attack, it does the exact same animation as it does in Bloodborne. But in Bloodborne, you deal way more damage, not with your hand, but the animation doesn't actually capture your weapon. Actually, just captures your hand as you literally slash into. It's mass. It's awesome. Like the visceral attacks in Bloodborne are amazing. Just bare hands ripping your enemies apart. Love it. Not as graphic as Doom. I mean, you know, Doom is a very graphic, gore-wise game, and I love that. I mean, it is Doom after all. It has to be. <laughs> if nothing else, it has to be. So yeah. Just quickly remove this. We don't need it. Nice. 
pretty much standard. Except when I fuck up. Uh, except when I fuck up, then you know. Then it's horrible, but other than that, nah, we're okay. We were always okay. Fucking wall. There you go. Wanna do it with two Estus Flask? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's go kill. Lilith is gonna deal with one Estus Flask. I mean, we can do it with zero, but. Let's not brag, you know. There is no need to brag yet. Okay. What's this? Come on. <laughs> I wanted There you go Easy Nice and easy Now let me just go Quickly check of the requirements for the quills for the crow's quill Rose Quills. Really? That's the name? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, see. Yep, 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 yep. We're definitely going sharp, this one. S scaling in uh, index. Yeah, I kind of... Honestly, I didn't expect a dex, uh, an S scaling. I expected like a A scaling or B scaling, but S scaling is pretty good. Considering the fact it also has an E scaling with strength, so... 20 strength confirmed. Definitely 20 strength. I mean, I'm gonna invent 20 strength here, ways, but now it's useful because it's e scaling. Everybody, everybody loves e scaling. I mean, come on. And there we go. Gotta say, I've been playing less and less Dark Souls, and I was playing a little bit more uh, Assault and Sanctuary, trying to uh, understand the game, I would say. And um, I, I, I still don't get it. I really. I mean, the level design, like how pr how to proceed through things. I'm just baffled to, to how it's uh, all arranged. So I gotta say that's like the only issue I have with, with the game because I unfortunately actually beat the game while I was playing offline. So I know the final boss, I know all of that. The ending, I actually skipped through the whole cutscenes and everything because I, you know, wanted to keep it at least a little bit fresh because then I didn't. Plan on actually ending the game uh, off or off video, but I was just like, I really want to, you know, understand the game, just just a little bit more, just understand the fucking game. And no, I don't understand. I beat the game. I have no idea how, honestly. Um, I was confused as fuck most of the time. 
to where to proceed. I died 50 million times on fucking uh, jumping puzzles and... No, just don't do it, okay? Don't do jumping puzzles mixed with fucking Souls games, Soulsborne games. Don't do it. No, that's a, that's a recipe for disaster. <laughs> On the player side, because it's annoying as fuck to land all the jumps and everything. Just a pain in the fucking ass. But I did, and like I said, I've beaten the game. It's really annoying to have to do all the jumps, but. Oh well. But the game's worth it. Uh, it's like cost like what, 15 bucks? Uh, yeah, it's worth it. I have nothing against the game. The game's worth it. Very interesting game, very fun game to play. Uh, at times, uh, Dark Souls seems fucking like a PG game, considering the fact how Salt and Sanctuary's uh, visceral attacks can be bloody as fuck. I mean, those visceral attacks, I that's one of the... The design of the game, like the whole environment and everything, A plus for me, like that... It's amazingly good. And the visceral attacks animations? Oh man. They are better than Dark Souls 3 backstabs. I, I think I said that when I first played through. Um, I played through Salt and Sanctuary the first time I, you know, like recorded the video and all that. First video I said it. The visceral attacks are amazing. I just love them so much in that game. Too bad. Too bad Dark Souls 3 doesn't have cool visceral attacks. It's, it's the bland Dark Souls 1 style visceral attacks which are not fun at all. I mean, no, they're fun, you know, to execute them, but they're not fun to actually look at them. They're not ecstatically pleasing. You know, it's the same thing you saw hundreds of times if you played Dark Souls 1 and it was still the only Dark Souls game. It's the same. But you can argue, isn't every Dark Souls game the same? Well, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good point. Good point. It is. But they add something new to it. A new design, at least. You know, a new skin, basically. While Dark Souls 3 just took blood backstabbing and was like, yep. Yeah, yeah, that, we're not we're not gonna we're not gonna change anything. Fuck that shit. We're, we're sticking back with the old formula. Which is nothing against it. I just wanted something better. Considering the fact that Bloodborne has better. <laughs> Considering the fact Bloodborne has better. Oh uh, yeah. We did everything. Yes. Okay. Let's just proceed on. I'm interested in seeing how the new game plus run of this is going to be. Considering the fact it's a rapier. And um, I'm not a fan of rapiers. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Really not a fan of rapiers, so I'm really interested in seeing how it's going to go. Let's wait for the doggies. One enemy I hate the most, the dogs. Yeah, yeah, come here, come here, doggy, come here. 
Uh, sure. Get stuck on the statue. So, I'm planning on doing some uh, any percent runs, speed runs. Now, when exactly do I plan on doing them? Uh, when I get bored with these runs, or when I actually run out of weapons to do. Because it is honestly going to go as long as there are interesting weapons for me to cover. Because I'm not going to cover every weapon in this game, fuck no. I'm just... Like, you will never see me use the halberd, for, for example. I will never use the halberd. I will probably never use the great axe. Because A, I really don't give a fuck about the great axe. And B, I might use it. <laughs> I might use it, I don't know. Uh, I'm still thinking about the great axe. But about the halberd, no. Just, just, just no. No, 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 no. I don't give a fuck about the halberd. Just like with uh, the Bastard Sword, because in the fact we did it basically until the until we get, got the paired Ring Knight paired great swords. We've been we've been using the Bastard Sword, so there's no need for a just dedicated Bastard Sword run. And also, when I do decide to do any percent runs, uh, it's probably going to be with the Bastard Sword because the Bastard Sword is fucking powerful as fuck. So yeah, I mean, damn. No! No, I forgot. <laughs> For a second, I forgot who dies first. Damn it. I should never forget who dies first. There we go. So I might be saying, why not use the katana? Because in fact, we have 16 decks. Uh, we're gonna get the rapier rather soon, so. No. And yeah, we're gonna be using the rapier again because the quills, uh, the crow's quills, is also a rapier weapon. So I think it's a rapier weapon. Sh shit, I haven't checked. But it doesn't matter. The point is, it looks like a rapier weapon. I'm gonna classify it as a rapier weapon until further notice. And uh, what are a weapon to use? Then the rapier. I mean, yes, I could use the. The Uchigatana would it, you know, be nice to use it? Mm, of course, it's a katana. Katanas are very powerful in this game. But we, I need to get back to being used to rapiers. Yeah, <laughs> I need to get used to using rapiers because uh, I don't like them at all. Just. No, no, fuck rapiers. And the Frenchman who invented them. I'm pretty sure the French invented the rapier. Because it sounds, you know, rapier sounds French. So, I mean, I get it. When it was invented, it kind of had, was the best sword to use. Because plate armor made uh, slashing you know slashing style web uh, swords useless I mean, you're just gonna clank off the plate mail or you know ricochet off the plate mail now will you do some um, let's say blunt blunting damage like cracked ribs or bruised you know bruised uh, bones muscle and that yeah probably but you're not gonna kill them you just you know you gonna do some uh, Possible heavy damage, but no killing damage. Or actually, cracking ribs and one of them piercing your lungs is a mortal wound. Uh, but it's, uh, it requires too many, too many um, conditions to kill. So rapier basically made use of the weak points of the plate armor, which were basically under the where the armpits are and. Uh, uh, between the legs, because you need some kind of mo um, mobility and um, and maneuverability. I think I butchered that word. So yeah, it had to be done, and the rapier was perfect for it because just you know, it was a it was a piercing, it was a frost weapon basically, just like in Dark Souls.
Who says Dark Souls cannot teach you about medieval weaponry? <laughs> Am I right? Uh, yeah, we picked up everything, nice. Also, they didn't drop anything, which is always nice. I just hate going back for picking up probably a, a deserter's armor or some shit like that, which they usually drop. Very annoying to get. Oh well. Will I be using this uh, deep battle axe? Uh, no. No, no, I won't. I was actually worried about that one. That I looked too close to, to my comfort. Okay. One thing I think I can say with certainty, certainty is that axes will be the final weapon type that I'll be using when I uh, decide to be done with these uh, themed runs. When you see an axe, you know in the title, like some kind of axe, doesn't matter which one, like for example the demon uh, full curve, huh? If you see a demon axe or some shit like that, then you know that I'm probably getting done with these ones. It's gonna be a long time <laughs> until I reach that part. Luckily. Luckily. But when I get Bloodborne uh, it's probably going to be... I'm gonna do all the weapons. Except the torch. Maybe just the hunter's torch. Yeah, maybe just the hunter's torch, but... No other... not the normal torch. I'm think I'm still thinking about, you know, what I'm gonna do in Dark Souls, and I'm thinking about Bloodborne. Wow. And I'm pushing it. Yes, I am. I'm pushing it. Because I want to. Simply do. Come on, don't play with me. There you go. Don't, don't play with me. Just... just Die rather quickly. Just die. Okay, that ah. Understand why is he, why does he do that with the hand? Like slashes around across the wall and then turns around to us. Wait, what? I ne I never actually noticed that that's the area where you go to after you know when you go down the ladder and. Before the the Lothric Knight Spear guy, <laughs> I never noticed. That's cool. That that is really really cool. I wish I wish I noticed that before. That's a very interesting thing. I too bad you cannot open it. So it's a window, basically. Basically, it's a window. Goodbye.
Still got it. <laughs> Still got it. I hate it, motherfucker. I mean, yes, he gives you an amber, which... Hello. You, you, you cannot be serious, right? What the fuck is the hitbox of this wall? No, no, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, I was a little bit too far. Still, what the fuck? That's a real, you know, that's a fucked up um, hitbox, let me tell you. A really fucked up hitbox. Good. And now we wait for this fucker. Come on, come on, do, do the good spins, do the good spin. There, there, there. there you go. There. Mm. <laughs> and in the end, we miss. <sighs> <Yes. laughs> you know, it would be interesting. If they actually like added in an invisible ladder here, but no. <laughs> it would be interesting though if they did something like that. Oh well. Time to kill this fuck. Mm. There you go. Come on. There you go. <coughs> okay. I think my game is lagging a little bit more than recently. Maybe it's just me. But, but I think my game is lagging a little bit more than usual. Maybe, maybe I'm gonna need to play a little bit, bit more with uh, the options. Maybe. I don't know. Gonna think about it. I'm definitely gonna need to think about that. How to make this. Uh, more smooth. Where's the dog? There's a dog. Hmm. <laughs> I was actually worried that that was not going to hit. Luckily it did. Luckily it did. I'm gonna have to check something real quick there. My mic should be on 90% of its uh, uh, volume, uh, volume input. So I'm gonna have to check. Maybe a Windows update changed it. Because it does. For some weird reason. I think it does. Hey, don't blame Windows for some shit, man. If it's on your side, don't blame Windows. <laughs> or Microsoft, actually, at this point. Well, enough. But 
Okay, I can go with that. I can go with floating, uh, floating um, dishware, definitely. Cups, jugs, and whatever else, Just floating, and cannot be broken. Well, at least these ones are not. Weird. Very weird. I'm gonna get the store so and then I'm gonna check if everything is uh, desirable. Okay. Let me just uh, quickly check this. Yeah, I was right. It was on 100%. I knew something was off. I was like, wait, this this seems to be a little bit more loud in OBS than it actually should be. And yes, it was. Okay, now it's fixed. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm pretty sure fucking Windows Update changes it to 100% every time. Why? Why, Windows? Why? Whoa! Am I losing frames? Don't tell me I'm losing frames. Okay, let me just pay attention a little bit more to the OBS side. Well, for now, everything is okay. Yeah, but now everything is fine. Hmm. Weird. Very weird. Oh well. I don't think there's any problems. Maybe they are. If they are, well, I cannot see them. Maybe they're gonna be more. Uh, Unfortunately, more visible on the video once I upload it on YouTube. Hopefully, not, but anything is possible. Anything and everything. Black fire bomb, always useful. Yeah, okay, yeah, my internet actually, there is some lag actually. Now I notice it, it sometimes dips to, to 500 kilobytes per second and it lags up a little bit. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't think there's anything I can do about it. Maybe there is. Oh wow, that's unexpected. Hmm. I did not expect the 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 Wing Knight's halberd. Uh, no, I will not be using the Wing Knight's halberd. 
the rapier oh boy so good <laughs> fucking rapier I'm not a fan of rapier not a fan at all horrible weapon horrible My problem is, my biggest problem with weapon is, there is no slash. Uh, I love the slash, you know. That's what to me makes a sword a sword. The slashing capability. I know it's bullshit, I know, but still. And for it, for it to not have it, it's just uh, annoying and stupid. Very stupid. But oh, well. I'm not the one who decide who designed this sword. Well, if I was, the sword wouldn't exist actually. But never mind. Not even one shotting it. Love it. No, no, no. Really, really. I, I love this weapon. I love this weapon so much. At least when we destroy enemies' kidneys, they take more damage, so that's a good thing at least. Of all the other things, that, that, that's, the, that's the good thing. I think, I, think, I think I should probably go and kill Ward before dealing with the left side and taking the banner and all that. But I'm gonna go take the banner first and then deal with Ward. This was a clean run through everything, so I'm not boring. Maybe I should a little bit, maybe, um, but I'm not. So yeah, I could care less, except when I miss. Then I do care. Also, motherfucker, come here. Oh no. Oh no! Rapier! I cannot destroy shields or guards. It, I have no poise damage or no. Yeah. Yeah, no poise and no stagger damage. Or no stamina damage, I guess. More precisely. Shit! At least we got these lucky visceral attacks helping us out. By the way, the crow's quills is a fucking normal titanite weapon upgrade system, weapon upgrade path, so um, yeah, I don't know how much can we upgrade the rapier until we get the crow's quills, probably plus 7, my hope. Because I need at least a plus 7 rapier for fuck's sake. Can't go without plus 5 or a plus 4 or even a, well, fuck's sake, plus 3. That's no. No. But. Hmm. But. We might have to. Yes, 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 yes. Give me the Lothric banner. Lothric banner. And the way of blue, beware of the watchdog, the vile watchdog. Wards of the Burrow Valley. Irrefill of the Burrow Valley. Everything of the Burrow Valley, because everything is in the Burrow Valley. This fucking weapon. You might be saying, well, why don't I go just with the, with the long sword until I get the, the crow's quills? No, because first of all, that's actually a good point. Maybe I should just go do that. Second of all, it is a rapier class weapon, so we should use the rapier. Just like we did for Aerofield rapier run. It just, it feels right. 
Okay, just feels right. But I probably should be using the long sword just because it's more useful and deals more damage also. Has piss for deck scaling if I'm uh, if I remember correctly. Not piss poor, but not the greatest. So yeah. Only 30 damage per tick. You gotta love this shit. It has no bite for fuck's sake. <laughs> this weapon has no bite. We need more damage. Finally. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure they changed up a little bit the AI. War is not not doing his triple charge. I'm gonna get you with my head, and then I'm gonna freeze you with my ice breath. Okay. Okay. No Estus. Uh, so slow. So how the fuck did I lose all my Estus? Care to explain to me? Oh no. I... <laughs> wow. Death to Ward. That hasn't happened in a pretty long time, actually. I just forgot how weak the rapier is, actually, at the beginning. Uh, I think my words were piss poor. Uh, I'm pretty sure I, it's, it's accurate, yeah. It is piss, pu piss poor. Fucking horrible damage. 30 damage I hit! Oh, come on. Maybe, maybe I should stick to the fuck. Yeah, let's just, you know what, you know what, you know what, change of plans. Fuck the rapier. <laughs> I'm sick with the fucking rapier. We're gonna, we're gonna deal with the rapier class weapon when we get to the fucking crow, crow's quills. We're gonna stick to the longsword. Meaning, no longsword run. Awesome. Because we're gonna be doing, like, 80% of the game with a longsword. I can go with that. I can, I can go with that. No problem. Uh, I, I can agree to that, definitely. And long sword is okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can do like any percent with the long sword and have no trouble. But the bastard sword is OP. And with any percent, you you don't even have to deal with any bosses. Like four of them, obviously, ha you have to deal with because it's always a pair of fours. And then, and then you have, uh, then you have um, the twin prince, twin princes, nameless king, ancient wyvern, because you obviously want to plus them up and by the end of it, even though I might just find a way of not doing it. And then there is um. Then there is um. I don't remember. There is consumed king. Bellerina Gundir. Vord. Ch uh, Ludex Gundir. You know. And then uh, that's it. And then you know, Solvsen. 
I'm pretty sure I can deal those bosses with like at least an, an hour and 30 minutes. But I'm gonna be testing them. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna be you now. Oh yeah, I'm gonna test it all offline now. No, 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 I'm actually gonna be streaming those tests and everything like that. I'm gonna try to to, to get like an hour and something. And yes, there will be no all bosses with those runs. At least not in the beginning. Maybe later I will do new game all bosses. But right now, uh, if I decide to do speed runs in new game, it will always be all, any, uh, any percent. Because it's just easy for me. Oh, you're finally gonna do that shit. Thank you. Fucking asshole. <laughs> really? It actually hit me! Wow, okay. What's going on here? Is Ward going to fucking kill me five times? <laughs> Hopefully not. That's weird. I don't remember having this much trouble with Ward ever. But I'm not really, you know... I'm not concentrating or trying really hard either way. I'm just playing for the game. Relaxing. Is it still enjoyable to die to fucking Ward? Fuck no. Fuck that motherfucker. Annoying boss. Annoying boss. But... Sometimes you die to annoying bosses, you know... Sometimes you die to fucking Pinwell. I mean... Nobody wants to say they did, but... Once... You die. You just... You know... Everyone, everybody dies to some boss at least once. Just how it is, you know. You, maybe the boss has uh, luck. You know, you don't have much of a uh, good luck, and the boss does, and you are fucked. So yeah. I don't mind it. I honestly, I'm at a point where I'm slowly. I care less about deaths, basically. That's where I'm getting to. I'm basically getting to like deaths really have no fucking more impact that they did before, which I wasn't. You know, before I did get annoyed by dying because it was stupid. Like dying to like ward is stupid. Don't get me wrong, fucking stupid. But nah. Now I can care less. I died too many times to fucking kill to care about dying to ward. That's my advice to all people who get annoyed by dying in Dark Souls. Do a new game plus 7 run. You will stop caring about deaths in a matter of seconds. Trust me. What the fuck? Okay, that was that was actually surprising. Okay, like I don't remember Ward having that much reach behind him. What the fuck is what the fuck is happening? Damn you, camera! Why are you against me? Why, camera? Whew. 
Excuse me. Fucking asshole. Ah, troubles with Vort. Damn. Unexpected. some cold water ah, always helps always Ashen one, the mantle of Lord interests me none. You know, one thing I can completely understand to why uh, Lothric attacked us and Lorien. Basically, we need his head, which, you know. No living being wants to get decapitated. Just no. 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 no nobody wants to get decap decapitated. Damn. So. I can understand why they like. They went full on. Go fuck yourself. We're gonna attack you now. I can understand it. But we still gotta do it. To end the flame. And to end a false cycle, because there is no, there is no cycle, there is no path. There's nothing. Come on, dogs, are you finished? There you go. Took you a bloody long time. And also, if you're wondering, when I do decide to do any percent runs, I will not be doing the the ending of the flame ending. I will be doing the normal one where you just link the flame because it's any percent. You know, I ain't got time to go for fucking first of all to cure the dog sigil and to go get you know the the eyes of the firekeeper. I ain't got time for that. So that's why it's just basically going to be the the vanilla. Bad ending of light, like of uh, lighting the flame, lighting the flame, letting, lighting, letting the flame. I don't know, letting the flame. So yeah. Hmm. 
Now we got suicide a lot. Stop jumping! Oh, boom. Well, uh, unfortunately, it's going to be a short stream, and by short, I mean right now I have to end it. I don't want to go into much deal, I'm just gonna say my aunt called me. You can decide, I have full freedom to decide what, that, what to fill in the blanks. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Fucking, fucking stream, yeah, right, an hour. Great. Anyways, bye.